This YouTube channel is just a random string of letters and numbers that may or may not spell out some sort of hidden message. There's one video that's especially strange. Someone is furiously pedaling around a neighbor while panting. Apparently lost and possibly being pursued. The next video is of someone watching two other people from afar and from behind some shrubbery. I'm not sure if this video is real or not, because they would obviously be able to see this person from this angle in my opinion, but maybe they were just ignoring him or truly didn't notice. If the person filming here is the same person that was on the bike, then I think they may have serious problems. After not posting for over seven years, the channel started uploading content again a month ago. Maybe now there will be more clues revealing the mystery behind these videos. A YouTuber named Jessie V and her sister Mandy are constantly hearing strange noises coming from the attic. They would have happily never gone up there, if not for their insistent fans who demanded to know the answer. They finally work up enough courage to take a ladder up there. Mandy goes up first and gets a really bad feeling. She's describing the general layout when they catch something that might have followed her back down. In a mirror on the wall is the reflection of a figure that is a quarter of the size of Mandy, whose much larger reflection can be seen right beside it. Whatever this is, it's standing right in front of both of them. Jessie turns the camera to reveal her father standing off to the side, but he is way too tall to be it. Also, this figure lacks any color or detail at all. Only later, when a commenter pointed out the creepy shadow person, did they go back and review the video. No answer was ever provided. Here's another strange surveillance tape out of Singapore, this time at an apartment building in Tempanis. Most of the orb videos I've seen in the past could be explained away as a piece of dust but this is clearly something way different. At first, I thought that this was someone playing with a high-powered flashlight, but then I realized two things. You can usually see a ray of light leading back to a person holding the flashlight, but there's no such thing here. Secondly, the orb appears to briefly switch to a gray color when it hits the wall. Watch this part of the video to see the colors change. That's not something an ordinary flashlight would do. If anyone can explain these two things to me, then I'll agree that it's fake. Two people are heading down the road when a third person looks right at them and steps in their path. Watch this part and you can see that he clearly waits for them to get close and does this on purpose. But here's where things get really strange. According to the uploader, when he turned around, the man was completely gone. He called the police and they had no luck finding him either. Could this have been a spirit doomed to repeat its last moments on Earth? In the depths below, no one can hear you scream. But that's not the case when Redditor JTS4 went splunking in these Georgia caves posted to the Ghosts subreddit. The Redditor writes that their GoPro recorded screaming in the darkness that they never heard in person. Moreover, he says that the caves were very quiet. So quiet, you can hear a pin drop. As other Redditors note, the distant scream heard literally sounds like one from a horror movie. It's clear in the clip that the Redditor didn't hear it as he continues to navigate through the cave, talking nonchalantly to his audience. While most agree that this is super freaky, others suggest it might not be paranormal at all. Redditor Brule's Rules for Your Health Rights reminds me of a feral hog sound. They used to go in caves near my grandma's house and get trapped inside. Other suggestions include a mountain lion or a fox. While well, some think it could be a woman. The Redditor says the cave is popular, so who knows, but it still doesn't explain why they didn't hear it in person at the time. He also says they were very deep in the cave along an 8 mile stretch that hasn't been fully explored. Could this be the reason why? Cindy McDonald is a paranormal communicator who has been into ghost hunting for many years. She has a YouTube channel called Soul Guidance that's full of bizarre explorations in various haunted places. But to be honest, the best paranormal evidence I've seen in a long time are from these videos taken in her very own home. After years of paranormal expeditions, I guess it was only a matter of time before something came back to haunt them. The creepiness begins on November 17th of 2017. That's when her beagle Mozzie begins acting strange. 
Every little sound bothers her and puts her on high alert. She seems especially wary of the brown chair, or rather the backpack that's on it, which they take with them on every investigation and may have a paranormal entity attached. They tell any spirits haunting this house to leave and eventually the dog calms down. Nine days later, they run a paranormal experiment on their house to see if they can capture any ghost sightings on camera. Their ghost hunting equipment soon tracks a ghost standing on their coffee table, who slowly but surely make its way to the couch. I just want to add that I don't see how their software could be mistaking a bare white wall for anything remotely human. Also, based on the timing of this next clip, I think this creepy moment is both real and paranormal. Can you say hello? Oh, there's two. Another wireframe figure appears in the doorway when she tells it to say hello. Now, just to show, don't you move. This is what we're filming, this area right here, so there's nothing it can map in. It's just mapping in two figures. They continue to see the same ghost well into the next year, and as the months go by, it becomes more friendly and comfortable around them. Here it is lying on the same couch as before. Can you wave? Can you stick out one arm? Oh, I think I see you waving that hand. Wave one more time so we know it's you, please. Thank you. Good job. They seem to have achieved some kind of rare bond between our world and theirs that I've never seen before. Also attached to their family is a little ghost child who is slowly remembering what it was like to be alive. Would you like to hold my hand? Can you reach over and touch my hand, please? Thank you. Even when it leaves, there's still a small black impression of paranormal energy left in its wake. It makes sense that the ghost of a child would attach themselves to a backpack, since that's an item they would be familiar with. And not too long ago, they visited a boys' detention center that was quite haunted. So maybe that's where the ghost child followed them home from. While they were exploring that haunted building, however, they encountered a much larger shadow figure that gave them a bad feeling. Hopefully this ghost didn't follow them home too. These ghost investigators have some paranormal evidence from a haunted house on video that I'm trying to decide is real or fake. They claim these lights are not coming from traffic, which I believe, but it looks awfully similar to the high-powered flashlights they were using earlier in the day. Does the beam look the same to you? Next, they claim to have picked up this sharp whisper, but I think it might be a camera strap sliding over the mic. Do you hear it? If so, what do you think? A YouTuber named Nicholas Asher is recording his two children when they nearly get more than just a little rain. Whoa! Holy sh! Okay. The lightning bolt hurtles down towards the kids and lands over in the next yard from the sound of it. They quickly scatter to safety into the garage. A news reporter hears a train approach and gets an idea for a shot. Here, oh, let's go. Train. The idea is to have her walk into the shot and let the train pass by for dramatic effect. The only problem is she can't look over her shoulder because it'll ruin the shot. She has to guess how close the train is, and her estimations are a little off. 20 minutes after midnight. Oh. She manages to take two steps and is barely off the tracks when the train flies by. This could have ended a lot differently, and there would have been absolutely nothing for the cameraman to do to stop it. The next time you gaze up into the serene night sky, you might experience a feeling of panic instead of peace. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by After Performance 2, the Redditor explains that these strange lights were seen in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina last year on July 19th. The lights were grouped in threes, and according to the Redditor, some disappeared before she could capture them on video. The video shows a trio of lights floating overhead in the sky, and a moment later, another trio closer to the horizon off in the distance. 
The sets of lights don't float in strict formation, but seem to each be wavering at their own pace. They then flicker and disappear. Redditor Professional Truck 3 suggests that these were paper lanterns lit and then launched from the beach, but the 70s kids negates that, saying if these were lanterns, they'd drift apart. While well, some say the wind is obviously taking the lanterns in the same direction, After Performance 2 theorizes that they're all going to the same destination. Another Redditor, Buster Blevins, chimes in proposing that this is not necessarily a unique occurrence. He wrote, Last Friday, a bunch of people saw something very similar to this in northern Wisconsin. The lights would appear in groups of three and it was as if there was a pattern that looked like the light was traveling in a circle around something. Any other theories as to what these strange lights could be? An invisible force has taken this man by the scruff of his neck, published in December of 2019. At the beginning of the video, the cameraman and another man off screen are yelling at each other. <laughs> At a distance, a short figure in white appears to be standing in a dark doorway. Its features are indistinguishable. The two continue yelling at each other until the cameraman turns around and starts running away from the figure in the doorway. As he does, the friend who was yelling is captured on camera, holding a flashlight. But suddenly, he is thrown to the ground, and as if a mysterious invisible force is acting upon him, the man is dragged away. The cameraman runs toward him to help, and it appears as if he is thrown to the ground too. Mayhem ensues as they both try to fight it off. They finally manage to break away, and they start hurrying off, but the cameraman doesn't get far. He is thrown to the ground and dragged again through the ice and snow. He struggles with the force before being pulled, this time into a room. He manages to escape and run away, and when he turns to look back, there's a small figure in the doorway again. What is this force? Where was it taking him? He'd better leave now, or it might just get him this time. The National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration aircraft took advantage of flying through Hurricane Irma to show us by taking this horrifying video of the storm outside. As the aircraft flew through the Atlantic Ocean's most powerful hurricane ever recorded, it gained vital information of the storm's path using drop sensors, as well as measuring the storm's intensities via radar readings. Irma made landfall in the Caribbean. Hurricane winds and rains whipped the airplane as it stood in the midst of Irma's power, but slowly the clouds lightened and the blue sky could be seen while the rain ceased. The contrast shows the magnitude and absolute power of a hurricane at full throttle. Everyone likes a good bedtime story, but what if the entity who tucks you in is a ghost? A viral Reddit post appears to show this intriguing episode caught on webcam. Redditor Cheyenne Rochelle wrote, My dad has been feeling his sheets being messed up with, and someone's sitting on his bed in the night so he set up a camera. Look at the sheets lifting up and what comes out of the side of it. It like dissolves into thin air. The creepy footage does appear to reveal what Cheyenne describes, the ghost that's been haunting them. As Cheyenne's father sleeps, the sheets creep up at one corner. Then what appears to be the head of an apparition shows itself before vanishing. 
As the sheet drops back to the bed, those who believe are all in with a paranormal hook, line, and sinker, with one Redditor saying, he might as well just go ahead and throw the whole house away. What do you think? Can you explain this? A few have tried on Reddit, but with nothing concrete, it remains unexplained. There's a good reason why this creepy kid's bike has been relegated to the roof. It is only supposed to play this lullaby for a minute, but so far it's been a half hour and counting. Hi, Thari in India here, and this is so freaking haunted. Nope. Hey. No. Stop it. The voice soon changes to a more sinister tone, and I think I can almost hear other voices coming out of it too. I'm running away. What the hell is that? Oh my. YouTuber Exploring with Josh explores the Screaming Witch's Forest on Pendle Hill, and they aren't disappointed. Their first sign is when the REM pod goes off. Dude. It like it was like It even was poking the thing. Now I'm getting freaked out. When two go off at once, it's obvious they are in a powerful presence. Whoa! Whoa! Bro! They're both they're both going off at the same time! Yo! Holy Dude. I can get off this rock before I bust. Oh my god. Both at the same time. That was insane. How, how many times do you ever see a rem- The spirit then starts to curse at them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That just lit up every single light! Another kind of god. F*** you! Holy sh**! It just said f*** you! Tell me not! Oh my god, it definitely did! Hey! Did it just hey! It an evil hey! And then they become more aggressive. Oh no! Bro, Hang on, bro. What the f*** was that? just do then? I didn't do anything, but I just felt like a really bad pain in my back. What do you like, mean? Like a scratch, like an actual, like like a dagger. No, Are you serious? No, I swear to God. I swear to God. You're I'm, like, I'm not joking. I mean, dude, I, I believe you. Their devices go berserk, and when Josh lifts his shirt, he reveals that he definitely was scratched by a spirit. Like, for, yeah. No, 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 dude, Josh, no, dude. Not, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. You've got to be kidding me. Josh, have you done this? No. No, promise me. No, I, bro, I promise. I was just with you. Like, I, you guys see me this whole time. I've been recording this whole time. Josh, um. I feel there is definitely some residual witchcraft on Pendle Hill, and to me, it's clear that it will take no prisoners. This one's a little difficult to see, but when you do, the payoff is worth it. A YouTuber named Past is exploring an abandoned property in Nottingham. Pay attention to the very last window during this clip. Even then, I doubt you'll see it. Now here it is again, with the paranormal sighting highlighted. Something very large appears to move quickly in the very last window, however this window leads outside and is two floors from the ground. With this in mind, what could this moving object be? Route 666 in Ohio is well known for all sorts of paranormal sightings, such as hitchhikers without a face and other demonic entities. With this in mind, a YouTuber named The Planet Earth decides to take a long drive down Route 666 at night and records everything with his dash cam. The entire 17 minute video is rife with fear and suspense as this YouTuber thinks he sees something multiple times and bravely stops the car to investigate. One part of the video is particularly concerning. Keep your eyes on the left side and tell me if you see anything weird in the darkness. Okay. Is that what is that? What is that? What is that? I'm not sure if this is just a reflection of a road sign or something, but there appears to be two glowing eyes on the left side of the road. If these are reflective markers, then I'm not sure why someone would bother putting two of them in the middle of nowhere like that. With all of the rumors surrounding Route 666, I wouldn't be surprised if this red pair of eyes belonged to something supernatural. Waiting for the next car to break down. 
This homeowner in Montgomery, Texas catches a stranger in distress on their doorbell cam. It's about 3 in the morning when a woman frantically rings the bell at the Sunrise Ranch subdivision. Look again and you'll notice what could be shackles dangling from both of her arms, suggesting this person could have been taken captive and recently freed themselves. The sheriff's department is worried that this woman may have been running for her life and trying to get help from the nearest home. Police released this video in August of 2018 hoping for anonymous tips, but so far no one has come forward with any explanation as for who this woman is or what happened to her on that fateful night. No one can say for sure. Some friends are enjoying the beach in Malaysia. When their parents grow concerned at the sight of something in the ocean, I assume they're shouting for them to come out of the water. This low and wide wave doesn't look like much, but the parents immediately know what it is and the power it holds. They manage not to get taken out to sea, but they still do get slammed by the powerful waves. Look how the rushing water pushes this car back like it weighs nothing, and you'll get a feel of its full force. Any of these people could have been pinned underwater for far longer than they could have held their breath had their parents not warned them in time. A man has a rather big problem in a small room. His lights are turning on and off on their own, and he can't figure out why. Across from him is a light switch that he is standing nowhere near. Not that pressing the light switch makes much of a difference. The light keeps turning on and off in rhythmic intervals regardless, like something's trying to communicate to him its presence. After five minutes, it finally stops through no doing of its own, and it never happens again. He shows every wall except the one to his immediate left, so perhaps the second person is standing by a dimmer switch to fake this video. But what's weird is how, almost two years ago to the very day, he caught something on camera that was bizarre, a door that kept opening on its own. No one is visible on the other side of the door when it oddly opens. Like the lights, the door only did this for a single day and never again. Was a ghost to blame? James Parr records his young nephew as he shrieks at something he sees on the wall. This continues for quite some time. It's hard to tell what the child is thinking, but it seems like a combination of nervousness and excitement. More than once, he appears to back away, as if he is fearful of something that is nearby. The child does seem to be completely fascinated by an otherwise blank wall, which is strange, but I am not so sure that this video is paranormal. The kid may just be playing games with his own shadow. What do you think is going on here? An instructor records himself and his students for a teacher evaluation. He's giving a lecture about safety when some strange activities start to happen. About, about what dangers might we go into. Stephen, don't do that please, it's distracting. That's one thing, someone give me another one then. Strangers. Strangers. Right, what we're gonna do, we, uh, we need to... Uh, I, t I tell you what guys, um, let's, let's just go out for a minute. Um. By now the class is in mild shock as they awkwardly line up and leave. According to the description of this video, later on they would say that they felt a strange static electricity in the air and a tingling sensation in their faces. After they leave, the possible haunting seems to continue for quite some time. Finally, the camera is knocked to the ground by an unseen force and the video ends. When you head into the middle of nowhere in search of a cave, you certainly aren't looking to meet strangers. YouTuber Lil Goofy says that whenever he goes to this place, nobody is there. Not this time. He published this video of the incident in July of 2019 writing, I brought a friend to see a rare cave in our local mountains that hardly anyone goes to. On our way up through a trail that leads to the caves, a stranger came out and waves at us. Then he pulled out what looked to be a big blade, so me and my friend ran since we didn't have any protection nor cell phones. 
In the video, the stranger is pointed out at a distance. He's dressed in black, and the YouTuber notes that his hands are behind his back. When the pair realize that the man has a blade, they hightail it out of there as fast as they can. As they slow to a stop, realizing they both left their phones in the car, the stranger rounds the corner, and they run off again, taking a left fork in the trail and wondering if the stranger knows the trail better than they do. After a while, they watch for their pursuer and catch him on video running up the trail. Finally, they make it back to their car in one piece. What were this man's intentions? Evil or not, this looked like it wouldn't have ended well. A YouTuber named Breaking the Shell goes exploring a 150-year-old home in search of the paranormal, and the paranormal is what they find. Shadow figures and footsteps have been reported by previous ghost hunters. But that's nothing compared to the paranormal evidence you're about to see. They're not even exploring inside of the house yet and the investigation is already getting spooky. At 40 seconds, a mysterious, possibly paranormal white light appears in the window of the room above them. And before you say that their light is hitting a mirror or something, explain how at 45 seconds the light seemingly gets even brighter. When the ghost hunter faces the opposite way, one of the things they notice is a bricked up fireplace where someone seems to have busted out, along with a door that has a padlock. There's another doorway with firewood in front of it that's been boarded up and painted over. I feel like somebody could have been kept in here against their will. That's weird. After exploring the house some more, they think they hear footsteps like other ghost hunters have reported, and I think it might be happening over them in the room where the mysterious light was. They're like, it walked past that window like some people. They go outside, and at 23 minutes and 7 seconds, their camera gets blurry, like it's trying to focus on a ghost nearby. Then we see the weird, mystifying light again, in front of them this time, and there's nothing but darkness, so I don't think it's light from their camera caught on tape. No joke, I saw a lot right there. But here's the creepiest paranormal evidence of all. At 13 minutes while exploring the top floor, they see this blue blanket. It looks flat at first, but the more you look at it, the more it looks like the ghostly form of a child seems to appear under the blanket. Holy cow, this is terrifying. Now this has to be paranormal. A YouTuber named Alone in the Dark takes a two-hour tour of a haunted hospital that has been out of commission for a long time. He repeatedly hears noises and gets signs that he is not alone, like here for example, when you can see a light appear out of nowhere in response to his voice. Seems I hear a ringing. At one point on an upper floor, he finds a long streak of dried red liquid running down the wall from a nearby ceiling vent. It almost looks like someone was grabbed from above by something terribly strong and pulled up into the ventilation duct where they met a horrible fate. Something else strange about this video is how all of the cabinet doors that he passes by seem to be flung open. Cabinets opening by themselves is a classic sign of a haunting, so take that for what you will. When he is finally ready to leave, the paranormal events really pick up in ways you'll never guess. There's a lot more going on in this thing. First, he hears an ambulance pull up to the defunct hospital, and then he sees shimmering lights on the ground. It could just be broken glass reflecting into the beam of his flashlight, but then again, it could be a paranormal energy signature. Either way, the timing of the ambulance siren is too much of a coincidence for me to believe this was anything normal. A YouTuber named Leviathan is on a hiking trip when he hears strange noises in the distance, just when he seriously suspects that he's not not alone in the woods. A series of large footprints confirms his suspicions. He now fears for his safety and has already decided to leave when he hears the same noises again, much closer now than before. The predatory call encourages him to make a quick retreat back to civilization. Leviathan still has no idea what was making this noise or exactly how large it was. 
A YouTuber named Benjamin Bennett makes videos where he smiles for literally hours at a time. No one knows why he does it. Maybe it's performance art or maybe he is a little unstable. Either way, videos of a man smiling at you for hours at a time are deeply unsettling. Then, one day, Benjamin Bennett frowned. I think that maybe his facial muscles were cramping up after hours of smiling. Or maybe he was playing a practical joke on us. Other viewers, however, are sure that Benjamin Bennett is being held against his will and is being forced to smile by someone off camera. Let me know which explanation you think is true based on what you've seen here. There's a strange roadside mystery in Cincinnati, Ohio that's been creeping out residents ever since the 1940s. It's called the Oxford Light, and if you drive to a place where Milford Road and Earhart Road intersect and flash your headlights three times, you'll be sure to see it for yourself. Edward Kramer is one of the many videos on YouTube proving this trick really works. There it is, there it is. Oh. Look, look at that, look at that. Oh, they're not gonna stay up, look at that. Look at, look at that. Oh, look at, look at that, man. What, oh, that's, see, that's just a car there. See, that's a car, I see that's yellow, that's a car. Wait a minute, what is that? What is that? Make no mistake about it, there's no street lights out here and no oncoming traffic, just the Oxford light in action. His experience, while strange, is like all of the others, and that's why I think it's real. Now look, there it is already. See, there it is, it's way out in the distance. How long that? Another YouTuber named T Sherm One is in a car full of friends when they see it for themselves. At first, they argue that it could be car headlights, but soon it becomes clear that this is a solid ball of bright white light that's growing brighter but not necessarily getting closer over time. They lose track of it over a hill, and when they come back up... Here, we're gonna sit at the uh, stop no, sign. We're, we're gonna go figure out what this guy's doing. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh we're God. going. <laughs> go! Let's look, let's look, let's look, go! They are expecting to see a car, but are instead surprised to find the strange light has disappeared. This is what it looks like moments before disappearing. Not even a locomotive has lights this bright, let alone a normal car. I would add that there is some stop signs that reflect light, but that's not it because they don't look nearly as bright. According to legend, this is where a man once lost his life on a motorcycle or a tractor. Depending on which version you believe, all I know is that in the comments of both videos are people who say they have been doing the exact same thing for years and that it works every single time. The Oxford light always seems to appear without fail and is here to stay. All of the locals know of it and yet nobody truly understands why. This footage comes from somewhere in the Middle East. A group of teenagers are curiously exploring an old school. They go up a flight of steps and pause when they hear a dog whining on the other side of the door. They all run down the steps and gather at the bottom. They're afraid of being attacked by a group of stray dogs now, but they decide to press on and explore the lower areas. The group finds bravery in their numbers and begins to joke and laugh again as they make their way down a long hallway. They open a door and find graffiti on the wall. Other people had been here before them. Maybe this place isn't so bad after all. The teens grow a little more nervous as they continue to poke around. They are laughing less and starting to go silent. Something just isn't right about this section of the building. A YouTuber named Zobin Jaguar translated their comments. He says at this point one of the teens say that their phone shut itself off even though it was fully charged only a moment ago. Another person was able to keep recording, though they probably now wish they hadn't. They enter one classroom in particular and get a dreadful feeling. Suddenly a figure actually appears out of thin air and walks towards them. The ghost is missing his head, but there's somehow no blood. A loud chanting begins as soon as the ghost walks towards them, but this may be prayers from a nearby mosque. Amazingly, the group all appears to have missed the ghost, which explains why they calmly continue to keep exploring. They wouldn't see the apparition until much later. But when they did, they would never forget what was heading straight towards them in that room. When Gulf of Mexico explorers venture deep below the sea, they may not have been expecting to get creeped out from what they found down there. 
the EV Nautilus was able to capture footage of a ghost shark, also called a chimera, near Granada in the Caribbean. Ghost sharks are rarely seen, as they're usually too deep, anywhere from 8,500 feet to around 650 feet. For marine communities to capture on film, and this particular ghost shark was even rarer, as it had an eerie smile and was riddled with parasites. To capture this amount of creepiness on video, underwater is quite a feat. A team member said, He looks like he's smiling. It's like a joker smile. Don't know about you, but I'd cringe to be on the receiving end of this smile. A YouTuber named Wonderlust Huff is mowing his yard when his neighbor walks out holding a camera and starts filming him through the fence. After a while, Wonderlust Huff appears to reach over the fence and silently acknowledges his neighbor's strange behavior. The neighbor goes back into his house and the confrontation gets ugly from there. I told you before, I don't want you taking pictures over my fence. It's irritating. I have a daughter. I don't know what your intentions are. I have a daughter. I have a wife. I don't want you taking pictures over the fence. There doesn't seem to be any reason for his neighbor to be filming Wonderlust Tough as he mows his lawn, so I definitely agree that this is creepy. According to the description, he would also fly his drone into people's backyards until the entire neighborhood made him stop. The neighbor's actions are certainly bizarre and seem to be without explanation. A man on a train awakes to find someone staring at him in a weird way, a ghost in the window to be precise. The pale figure doesn't move, supposedly locking eyes with the passenger, who at this point is beyond creeped out, feels watched, and thinks this is some scary stuff to wake up to. When zoomed in, it could be the reflection of something inanimate, though of what I'm not so sure. Whatever it is, the transparent outline of a face is still visible nonetheless. If you still can't see it. Look on the right side of the window and you'll see a weird face with a long, narrow nose and all black eyes pressed against the glass. I assume the person who caught this on camera takes this train often and has never seen anything like this before. So what could this strange sighting be? Here's a freaky sighting. Imagine you're playing guitar with your friends when something decides to pay a visit. Published by Navigon in November of 2007, this creepy video shows some dudes practicing in a bedroom. One is playing the guitar, the other is singing, and the third is recording the session. But as it turns out, there's a fourth uninvited guest nearby. As they continue to play, the friend filming the session takes a broader shot of the singer, and towering in the doorway behind him is a seemingly tall man, standing sentry and staring into the room. In the comments of this video, David F.E. writes, It's a humanoid being about seven feet tall, not a ghost. Many people have reported them before. Whatever the case, in the moment, the friend filming doesn't spot the humanoid. The three continue their session without any reaction, and the next time the cameraman pans over, the figure is gone. They must have spotted the humanoid later in the playback, a humanoid that was so close he could have touched them. What would you do if you saw this over your friend's shoulder? TT Mando posted this video in 2008 of his ninja cat chasing a ghost around the living room. In the description, he writes, I have never really been a believer in ghosts, but my wife and I have two cats that used to always go nuts seeing things that we could not see. They would howl at the lights in our dining room and chase things around that were not there. It was really weird, so my one cat starts going nutty one night like he is seeing something. So I decided to try and shoot some footage thinking maybe I can see what they are seeing through a camera. The video begins with the cat watching something floating in the air attentively. What is he staring at? While shooting the footage, the YouTuber switched between regular and night vision mode, which is when the ninja cat started climbing the walls. Literally. You can see that the cat has managed to climb to the top of a dresser and is looking up into the corner of the room. Whatever the cat has its eyes on must be moving all over the place because her gaze darts here and there. The cat then jumps down from its spot on the dresser to a scratching post. 
And then, as its eyes follow the invisible, it jumps up the wall and lands on the floor. It tries again, jumping up the door and managing to get its claws into the door frame. It looks up into the corner of the ceiling, its head still darting around. The cat hangs there for nearly an entire minute, seemingly enraptured by the ghost or spirit in its sights. Seriously, do you see anything there? Because I sure do. According to the YouTuber, a dot of light moved through the TV once he got his cat down from the door. The YouTuber points out the light that moves from the back to the front of the room. If you watch the video closely, you can see it too. The experience was, apparently, traumatic for this cat owner, who now sleeps with the covers over his head. This Irish family was testing out their new baby monitor when they monitored something incredibly alarming. Published by the Hidden Underbelly 2.0 in October of 2018, the footage shows Alan Smith watching the monitor in another room as his wife plays with the baby in its crib. When the man pans up to see his wife's face, however, he captures something unexpected. Over her shoulder in the connecting bathroom, a creepy face peers around the corner before vanishing completely. The man hurries upstairs, shouting at his wife that he saw something behind her. Oh, you can. Oh, sec. Let me check if I can um, get your face. Say hello, Liz. What the f? Lisa! What's behind you? Is there actually anyone behind you? Seriously. There is, of course, no one in the bathroom. So to whom does this creepy face belong? Is this a cryptoid, a glitch, or just another scary video going viral on social media? A worker presses the garage door button on his way inside, but the door goes back up instead. I think the door returns to the open position as a built-in safety precaution whenever there's something wrong with the track. So if the garage door gets stuck, don't keep messing with the controls or else this could happen. Thankfully, the corner catches for a split second and gives him the few seconds he needs to avoid, becoming a red stain. If it had dropped straight down, there would have been nothing for him to do. So basically, when the garage door at your job is giving you problems, always grab a supervisor, unless you want a chance of this happening to you. Oftentimes, we see movements out of the corner of our eye and we think we're imagining things. What if we aren't? Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Kid Blast Double, this clip got Redditors up in arms. The video shows someone entering their backyard with their dog, but check out the fence beyond. A shadow figure can clearly be seen fleeting across the yard. It arrives behind the tree and doesn't move beyond. Apart from slightly peeking from around the tree, which can be seen on the close-up of the clip, the top comment was from Redditor Dads for Sons, who said he'd watched the clip on repeat a million times, and his first reaction was, whoa, the slow-mo gives him the chills, he says. In response, Redditor PaulVS88 points out that the OP, Big Pappy Thunder, said, honestly didn't think anyone would get it, or that it would somehow get nearly 7,000 upvotes, but here we are. Figured I'd bamboozle maybe five people, then take it down for a laugh. Redditors with a sense of humor had a laugh about about it. Tactius Kilgore writes, The shadow people have him and are in control of his Reddit account. There was one oddity in the video that was unedited, however, the thing peeking, but Thunder thinks that it was more likely a light from far away or from the yard behind than the shadow ghost that he'd edited into the footage. Still, this video will likely have you second guessing the next thing you see out of the corner of your eye. Arachnophobes beware. This video is straight out of Ron Weasley's Nightmares. Published by Exotic Slayer in October of 2018, footage of this spider will remind you why so many people fear them. The Goliath Bird Eater is the world's largest spider by mass and size. Goliath calls South America home, and its leg span is second only to the giant huntsman spider. Goliath is called a bird eater for a reason. A copper engraving made by Maria Sibylla Marion in the 18th century depicts the giant spider chowing down on a hummingbird. But don't worry, birds aren't often the spider's prey. Rather, he prefers worms, amphibians, insects, and other arachnopods. Although Goliath has been known to eat things as large as rodents, lizards, and snakes, 
Imagine running into this spider in your jungle lair. It's what nightmares are made of. A ghost hunter named Safod Bebley Brox is at the Hill House Manor in Gainesville, Texas. When they get activity on their equipment, the rules of communication are one blink for yes and two blinks for no, but this spirit presses no many times over when asked if it is an older man. Are you the male that just came back in here? No, it's a little girl. His partner thinks it must be one of the two children's spirits known to roam this floor, and when they ask if it wants to play, First, he uses the equipment to say no, and then he uses its actual voice. It even answers like a child, waiting until the adult says no before repeating him in a small, sad voice. Are you the little girl? Would you like to play jazz? Can you say yes or no? Huh? No? Judging by how she is in no mood to play, I'd say something bad must have happened to them. Something that's keeping them trapped with no release forever. When the paranormal team Casadores de Sombras went to investigate this ritual site, what they found was a living nightmare. As they approach the site, they find what appears to be a body levitating high above a fire pit. <laughs> They later hear something in the surrounding woods. Now, back in the safety of their vehicle, they're left to ponder what their eyes saw. Without context, it's difficult to know what's going on here. Is this person being levitated by some dark magic? And for what purpose? I can't provide any insight on this one, but I do know that I'm super creeped out by the events here. Two siblings go into their room after hearing a small, unrecognizable voice call to them. In their toy trunk, they discover a bizarre-looking doll that neither of them can remember putting in there. The doll remains silent until one of them goes to grab it. <laughs> the really creepy. Creepy. They aren't sure what to make of the toy at this point, but look what happens when they have a discussion while still in its presence. Look at its little skinny legs. <laughs> that thing is like I know disturbing. It almost seems to respond to a comment about its legs by kicking twice and laughing. It's as if the toy knows what they are saying and is trying to play with their mind. Tell me whether or not you think that this could be an early warning sign of a poltergeist in their home. The Sorrel Weed House is said to be one of the most haunted buildings in all of Savannah, Georgia. Two different women have met their end here. One of them named Matilda, who is said to still roam the courtyard in her black dress. While taking a tour of the area, a YouTuber named Billy Smith captures this quick video of a woman fleeing the house, wearing an all-black corset. What's weird is how she never actually opens the front door to her left. Instead, she appears out of nowhere to cross the space between two columns, and then does emerge from the other side. According to Billy, this figure was heading in the opposite direction of the parking lot, so if they were a staff member, they would have to double around to get to their car eventually. He waited until 1.30 in the morning and saw no one else from the house for the rest of the night and certainly no other traces of her. A YouTuber named Goodnote is exploring the Illinois countryside when he stumbles upon a secluded burial ground in the middle of nowhere. He instantly recognizes this place as the Witch's Circle, a nefarious hangout where certain people have been known to practice black magic and summon spirits. Goodnote breaks out his drone for a better look, but the wind seems to mysteriously pick up every time he tries to take flight. I personally don't see anything out of the ordinary here, but let me know if you do. Anyway, there's another video that he took on foot that I'm way more interested in. He shot this at the beginning of the visit. He's walking up to the entrance and says he got a really weird feeling. Then his phone's battery goes from 52% to zero and suddenly shuts off. What's even weirder is how, no matter how hard he tries, 
you can't seem to upload this video onto any other mobile device. It plays perfectly fine on his phone and nothing else. The only way he was able to get it on YouTube was by filming the screen with another camera. I tried not to make assumptions without having enough evidence, but it's almost as if something really didn't want to be seen or shared with us on that grey, overcast day. This man is panicking, and he has reason to. Published by Hayalet Video Lari in November of 2013, the creepy footage he captured will have you on edge. Though there is no context to this clip, the man is in a room alone, and he's very much afraid. Guys, this is the area where I've seen a spirit roaming freely. What of? We're not sure yet until. Hey. Are you there? Are you there inside? Oh my god! Oh my god! After freaking out some more, the man wheels around the frosted window panel, and there's no one behind it. To whom does this hand belong? I'd wager the invisible man. A YouTube series called The Under Vlogs follows Rachel, Kiva, Tyler, and Derek on their various adventures. This time, they're split up on a competitive scavenger hunt, checklist and all, in a creepy 1908 children's hospital that's been abandoned since 1998. Tyler and Derek are goofing around, but things become tense when they notice a creepy clown head with dripping red eyes that could be a warning of what's about to come their way. They sense something wrong and run away, and that's when, approximately 10 seconds later, this shadowy figure looks out at them, roughly the same height as the clown graffiti in the doorway, so I'm glad they followed their instincts and left fast. This rare rushing creature is being called everything from a mole to a troll. The phone quality is too poor to make out much more than a tiny humanoid hand and a small face. Whatever this is, it doesn't behave much like a mole, which I doubt would stay above ground with two humans so close. Anyway, try to translate this conversation if you can, and let me know if they ever say what kind of creature this is. What's that? Oh, okay. Só um. Aí pra trás tem mais quantos? Sela quatro e ala. Bora, bota a cara pra cima aí. At the 15 second mark, you can see its hand more clearly, and it does look like it could have a well-developed thumb, which would exclude it from belonging to most species. With that said, I think it could perhaps be a baby possum, which do have opposable thumbs and sometimes like to burrow underground. I could be wrong though, and even after almost 100,000 views, nobody seems to have come up with a concrete answer. Uncanny videos without explanations are often creepy in their own right, but this one takes it to a whole new level. Posted to YouTube by Gugun Reaper in October of 2016, the video is titled, What Are You Thinking? Deep Web Video. Soon it will have you asking yourself that very question. The clip shows someone in a black trash bag with a white cloth tied over his head. The thing coughs a few times, looking super sad and terribly creepy. At one point, it lifts its hands to its mouth, and suddenly its mouth is flooded red. It's unclear what is happening. Is this thing coughing up red liquid? Fernando Costa suggests in the comments. He was starting to hick it all up slowly, then blam. Bile and everything all finally came up. In the end, the thing holds a piece of paper with writing on it. You can see through the paper. And though he's holding it upside down, it reads, What are you thinking after watching this video? All it's doing for me is creeping me out. Published in October of 2011, the YouTuber wrote in the video description, I found where the creature has been hiding, along with my dead cat. What creature? While searching his property, the original uploader found a sewer or a drainage pipe, which is where the video begins. As he's walking towards the drain, he only brought his camera and a knife. What does he need a knife for? We'll soon find out. He enters the tunnel, and you can't see much inside apart from his bright headlights on the walls. But then again, as the light shines ahead deeper into the tunnel, he seems to catch a brief glimpse of a creature standing there. Two bright eyes gleaming in the darkness, he races out of the tunnel. He explains that his camera died as he was hurrying home. 
the sewer being a quarter mile deep in the forest. For some reason, he decides to head back the next day to explore the tunnel again in the hopes of capturing the creature face to face. This time he enters the tunnel through the opposite side where the stream is coming out. Inside he finds the skull of his cat. He also finds what he believes to be the creature's nest. That's my cat. That's my cat. I think I just found this place's nest. So what do you think? Is this creature indeed alien or some other known life form? Unless we know what sewer this YouTuber is exploring, we cannot move forward with verifying if this footage is legitimate. A rough landing in Buckland, Alaska becomes even scarier when you learn all of the things the pilot said. The fact that anyone is alive is a miracle. They were trying to keep the plane from sharply veering to the right and colliding with everyone below. The plane's steering was off and nobody knew to get out of the way, and it's not like planes have horns or anything, so there was no way to tell them that they were in the way, while everyone on the ground was folding their arms and waiting. The pilot was freaking out and applying a maneuver called asymmetric reverse thrust. Basically, he reversed the engines to change the trajectory of the landing. It cost him a wheel but spared others their lives. So the lesson of this scary video is to assume the worst and give planes plenty of room to land. Situations like this don't always have happy endings. Okay, think of this scary video as a what would you do type situation. A woman named Letitia Patterson is walking back to her car when a strange man who is acting beyond creepy in my opinion begins to follow her. She lets him know that he's caught on camera and the video gets more outrageous from there. Hold on, I'm about to record you because if something happened to me, they gonna have you on camera. That's right. Somebody come get their uh, family family member. That's right. Following me. I think capturing his weird behavior on tape is the right move, but showing him where she parked is not the safest decision. She could have walked away to get help, but I guess she felt like she was going to take control of the scary moment, and so she overcomes her fears and confronts the stranger, getting more bizarre video on camera for us to analyze. <laughs> yep. Bye. The strange man attempts to get her to laugh it off, playing off his aggression as harmless flirting, but he is not respecting her boundaries, which to me is beyond creepy, and a major warning sign that she should get away fast. He follows around her car for a bit, and then he's standing by her door when the creepy encounter takes another bizarre turn. I don't even know you. Hey, delete that camera. I'll grab that phone from you. Look, that on camera, well, can you get away from my car? Yeah, but delete that recording. I'll delete it as soon as I see you start walking that way. But the mysterious man walks towards her instead, closer than ever as you can see at 1 minute and 27 seconds, and she realizes by now that he isn't going away, and that this scary moment could escalate if she doesn't get help. Hey, y'all call 911. This no, guy no, just followed me around no. the store. I think asking a stranger to call 911 was the right decision because he could have taken the phone out of her hands if she stopped recording him. The camera is a good deterrent, and also she needs to continue to record evidence. Police investigators haven't found him yet as far as I know, but check this part out. I think he says his name here at 7 seconds. She's talking at the same time, but tell me if you can understand what he says. They gonna have you on camera. That's right. Somebody come get their uh, family friend. member. At least one other woman claims to have had a similar creepy experience with a scary stranger. So the evidence seems to suggest that he could be terrifying people just for fun. Freaky, right? A YouTuber named Run Gun Griff is a drone enthusiast who explores a lot of exotic locations on his channel. Most of his videos are taken on tropical islands, but this one was shot at a hard-to-find rural spot that he simply describes as being in the middle of nowhere. 
As this drone flies high, you can see that Run Gun Griff and his friend are standing in the middle of a huge field of crops that's covered in a series of strange markings. The symbols themselves are perfectly symmetrical and extremely precise in their geometry. Their designs look strikingly identical and appear to have no noticeable differences, a sign that it was not made by humans. I suppose that it would be possible to do this with farm equipment, but farmers have little reason to vandalize their own field, and since there's absolutely no flaws in the design, I think that there is a strong possibility that this was made by something extraterrestrial. Let me know if you think that these crop circles are man-made or extraterrestrial in nature, and if you recognize any of these symbols from any literature, movie, or video games, then I'd definitely like to know where they are from. This dashcam video shows traffic moving normally across four unobstructed lanes when out of nowhere a woman appears in front of a black pickup truck. She keeps walking to the other side like nothing is wrong. The black pickup truck definitely hits its brakes and the car behind them does so as well, which seems like a realistic response. Then again, there is clearly a red stoplight up ahead, so maybe they were braking for that instead. I don't know why this video is void of color. I'm assuming it's because black and white video would take up less space on the dashcam memory card, but it's safe to say that only a ghost would be able to do what this woman does. A scary 3am video's got a YouTuber named the Logical Leprechaun scratching his head in disbelief along with both of his parents too. The thing runs for like another minute and he never comes back. He never does anything else. Wherever this, this never rings again. Is that wearing a dress or something? Again. The mysterious figure sets off the ring doorbell camera alert one time and never again despite passing back and forth numerous times. It's the 4th of July so somebody could have been walking around outside, but there's no reason for them to be this out of focus and definitely no reason to appear out of nowhere. It's just it's it's like dark a, there and then boom, out of nowhere. Logical Leprechaun says that nothing has appeared so blurry before before or after this mysterious figure was caught on camera. It's no different than other doorbell cameras and works fine, other than this mysterious night. I think it could be paranormal unless there is some technical explanation that someone could help me better understand. In a creepy abandoned place, YouTuber Alberto Del Arco captures a passing ghost on camera. First, they hear a distant scream. Oyster? Then they spy this dark figure at the end of a corridor. While the figure is too far away and indistinct to definitely confirm that it's a ghost, you can see that it does move. Someone is there with them, ghost or living being, I wouldn't stick around to find out. If you encounter a child spirit, be wary. Posted to Facebook by the Most Haunted Places in Pakistan in August of 2019, this video is actually based in Thailand and surrounds the mythological spirit of Gong Goy. The dark haired spread is said to be humanoid and child sized. She hops around on one leg and screams out Gongoy, which is the source of her name. This video purportedly shows that creature at the edge of a Thai field in the darkness of night. You at first see the figure's dark hair as it's still and hunched over near the grass, but then it appears to become alert to the presence of others nearby as it stands up and starts hopping away on its single leg. If you're watching this video after 10 p.m., your nightmares will probably be populated by strange Dali-esque creatures like these. Hopefully, they're not running towards you. This extreme close-up of the moon captures an unknown object floating at what appears to be mere meters over the celestial body. Alexi underscore N shares this mysterious footage with the YouTube community. Can you guess what it is?
In fact, it looks like something drifts down toward the moon from the floating object. Folks in the comments have some wild theories. Are extraterrestrials refueling on the moon, as some suggest? It's possible, but I think it could also be the International Space Station. Although the ISS is only 250 miles from the Earth, while the moon is 230,000 miles, in photographs, the ISS often looks much closer to the moon than it actually is. But even if it is the ISS, that doesn't really explain the object that appears to be traveling toward the moon from it. Additionally, the uploader has CGI videos on their channel. This one isn't marked as such, but there is still the possibility this is special effects. Share what you think in the comments. I'm torn on this one. This YouTuber takes his girlfriend on an adventure to go exploring a tunnel that's said to be quite haunted. The Blue Ghost Tunnel in Ontario is close to a graveyard that was not properly relocated and still has hundreds of unmarked burial sites. Well near the end, Entrance, Jack hears strange sounds in the sky that sound like a train horn, but there's just one problem. I don't know if the camera could pick this up, but listen in the background. Trains would derail so often that the tunnel was soon condemned, so I have no idea what that sound was. When they get through the boarded up entrance, from deeper in the tunnel comes the voice of a little ghost girl calling for help. It could just be a squeaky piece of machinery, but I don't think so. Hello? A mysterious light way far ahead makes them both leave quick. You can see it comes from way too far ahead to be a part of their equipment. And besides that, they claim to not even have flashlights anyway. I don't know why you would go exploring a haunted tunnel without a flashlight, but I guess they weren't intended to go very far. Little did they know they wouldn't even make it past the entrance without getting freaked out. While well, this man was checking his home CCTV at night, he captured something he didn't expect. Published by Scary Desk in November of 2021, the scary video shows the man setting up his camera and checking that it's angled well in his yard. But as he's doing so, look behind behind him. A creepy face peeks out from behind a bush in the background. It remains in view even as a car passes by behind it. The face then slowly disappears back behind the bush. A closer look shows the creature's bizarre features. While it looked human from far away, it doesn't exactly look that way close up. Is this being wearing a mask? And why is it hiding? Whatever is going on here, it seems this man set up his security cameras just in time. A man was fast asleep in bed when a new type of alarm woke him. Posted to TikTok by Mr. List Paranormal, the man is seen lying on his back when suddenly he flips onto his stomach. He thrashes around as though trying to escape something, and then that something takes it to the next level. The man's feet are lifted skyward as he continues to try and free himself. At last, he is left alone, and then he turns around, gazing forward at nothing. Then he sits calmly cross-legged, as if in a trance. Many in the comments say this is why you should keep both feet under the blanket, but for others, this video is inspiring. TikToker KM107 writes, I'm so doing this to people. Sounds like he'd be a pretty mischievous ghost. Jason Nilsson and his friend are walking along a path of frozen ice in Utah. When they come across some kind of creature colony the likes of which they have never seen before, they appear to have a squishy, loose form, yet they show little reaction when touched. Okay, touch it. Oh, did you see it? Slimy? Yeah. <laughs> stick or something. Gross. Gross. <laughs> oh, weird. What if it's like a disease? The giant circular patch of ice has hundreds of strangely shaped egg-like objects melting deep into the ice. 
but I can't tell if these are actual eggs or maybe even some kind of larva. Whatever it is, the tiny creatures are neatly lined up in creepy, nearly symmetrical rows and not moving. Maybe they are either frozen or worse, still waiting to hatch. Nobody in the comments section has been able to properly identify what these things are, which makes me even more curious. I wonder if this really could be some sort of hatchery site for a rare species we have never seen before. Scary home CCTV video shows why you should never leave your cooking unattended. Less than a minute, their entire countertop is covered in flames. The wife makes the mistake of trying to grab the flaming pot barehanded to put it in the oven and only sends a cascade of flames to the floor. But it's the husband who makes the ultimate mistake. He throws water on the flames, which is not what you do in a grease fire because this only makes the grease splash and spread the flames around. Everyone is okay and the fire goes out, but this method could have seriously burnt the house down. From what I've read, he could have put something large over the fire. Smothering it deprives the flames of oxygen and makes them go out. That fire was already really big though, so I don't know what he could have covered it with. To me, this video is a good example of why you should always have a fire extinguisher somewhere in your house and make sure you have it inspected from time to time to make sure it works. When something terrifying like this happens and you need it most. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.